In my hood, I'm Michael Corleone Boss niggas, so they call me a don't Walking around with all this cream on me They gon' feed you some Rolling Stone I done flush a lot of dope away I lost thousands to them drug raids When the time a nigga grinding down Let's try and stack it up and see a summer day Man, mug gang, holla at me, it's your boy Don We back in the stand with a new video uh, so I kind of did this video yesterday, bro. So look, if you saw my video yesterday pertaining to FBG Duck and the arrest that happened yesterday or a couple days ago, you know what I mean? Then I apologize. You feel me? I feel like I had a whole lot of false information within that video. You know what I mean? So I want to apologize. I just seen the uh, updates on Instagram and I seen what's going on on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. And I was just, oh, I was hyped in the moment, made a video. And just didn't know what was real, didn't know what was not real. You know what I mean? So I apologize, bro. But now that the news, if you me, had their chance to say what they had to say, and the feds actually came out and said what they said, like the feds had a whole goddamn press meeting and all this other shit, like a conference, like the goddamn president and shit about this. I'm like, damn. The feds don't play though, bro. You know what I mean? But like, either way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? FBG Duck, you feel me, passed away tragically last year, August 2020. You know what I mean? And couple days ago, yesterday or something like that, they finally made the arrest. If Miss says five alleged gang members charged in murder of Chicago rapper FBG Duck. Today, we got some new information, some updated information, and some accurate information. I pray it's accurate. And if it's not accurate, blame the news, my nigga. <laughs> you feel me? But look, we're going to watch this news article. Uh, and then we're going to go to like, because I've seen DJ Academics just posting stuff on uh, Instagram. Uh, some other stuff that the feds actually said themselves. Just some crazy shit. They said the feds... Be watching the YouTube documentaries. You know, sometimes when I react to the YouTube documentaries, the feds be watching those shits and shit. Not my videos, not me reacting, but the people who make the damn. I was low key like, damn, but no. If it, it's the people who make the uh, documentaries, I know they probably like, damn, bro. They get motherfuckers locked up, bro. Whoever making them documentaries, bro, like, obviously they gotta be accurate if the feds don't go lock a motherfucker up. Because the feds got a conviction rate that's damn near unbeatable. So if it, the feds watching these videos, they gotta be accurate, you know what I mean, to a certain degree. You know what I mean? But like, there was just a whole lot of extra shit with the feds and what they were saying, so we're gonna get into that later. But right now, we're gonna watch this little news clip and see what they had to say. Because I wanna know the accurate information on who's incarcerated, who got locked up, you know what I mean? Who's on trial, who's pleaded not guilty, all this, all that, you know what I mean? So let's go, let's get this shit cracking. Well, nobody's on trial yet, but you get what I'm saying. Developing Man. now new details in a high-profile murder in the Gold Coast last year. Five alleged gang members are now charged with the murder of Chicago rapper FBG Duck. And those charges are only the beginning. Our Chris Hush is oh, following yeah. all that's the... That's another thing, because they said that's not only, you feel me, yeah, they killed Duck, but also they build in a bigger case, you feel me? With that bigger case, I pray. You know what I mean? Like, but when you're in the streets... If it me, it's only life or death. I mean, not life or death. If it's only motherfucking jail or death. You know what I mean? Like, unless you really make it out, when you make it out, you get the fuck out. And when you get the fuck out, you don't go back. You don't, you feel me? Entertain that shit. You don't, you know what I mean? Partake in that bullshit. Put it like that. You know what I mean? But look, if me, they say they're building a bigger case, you know what I mean? And I hope that bigger case doesn't hit, you know who. You feel me? Little dirt. But either way, let's watch the damn news clip, bro. Because this shit's crazy, man. You feel me? Like, Muwap, man, he had a whole lot going for him, bro. You feel me? I don't even know who's all arrested, so hold on. Charges so are it. only the beginning. Our Chris Hush is following all the developments tonight. It's crazy, man. And it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. Five members of the O Block Street Gang, a faction of the Black. Charles Liggins, C. Murder, Kenneth Robinson. Robert's my fault. Kenny, Kenny Matt. To Carlos Offord. Los. Christopher Thomas. C. Thang. Marcus Smart. <laughs> that nigga got the same name as dude off the Celtics. Uh, nigga Mua. You feel me? But yesterday, who did I say yesterday? I think I said Boss Top, but I might have said DQ. You feel me? On accident. So I apologize for that shit. You know what I mean? DQ and Boss Top, I apologize. You feel me? I don't know their situation at all. I don't know where they're at. I don't know what they're doing. You know what I mean? So I apologize. But, uh, yeah. Disciples arrested and federally charged with committing murder in aid of racketeering. Charles Liggins, Kenneth Robertson, to Carlos Alford, Christopher Thomas, and Marcus Smart, all residents of Chicago. Anyone who is involved in shooting and murdering somebody else, okay, which is what is alleged in the indictment here, that is an important, a critical member of that particular gang or enterprise. 
And so in that sense, this is this is a significant charge. The arrests were made this morning, all charged in the murder of Carlton Weekly, a Chicago rapper known as FBG Duck, gunned down in broad daylight in August 2020 in Chicago's Gold Coast neighborhood during a feud between gangs. The 11-page indictment says the suspects used social media and music videos to promote and expand their enterprise. It also may have aided in the investigation. It shows you exactly what's happening in the city, which is that people are threatening to commit, to commit acts of violence and then either bragging about acts of violence or talking about how they're going to retaliate for other acts of violence. The consequences, obviously, in the federal system are much more... I mean, this shit been going on, though, so they, they think this shit is new. I mean, like, because he's talking like this shit is new. Bragging about it, like nigga, they been bragging about that shit, folks. Since like two thousand, ever since I can motherfucker remember, since I got put on the Chicago shit, they been saying smoking this, smoking that. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Violence are talking about how they're going to retaliate for other acts of violence. The consequences, obviously, in the federal system are much more uh, punitive. Than you motherfucker, Sosa was saying Shondell, like before they even started saying smoking on, you know what? You feel me? I ain't gonna say that out of respect, you know what I mean? But Sosa been saying Shondell name, this and that. You feel me? If you go back to what's it called, the Bang mixtape, the first mixtape, first Bang mixtape by Chief Keep, bro, nigga was saying it, this and the fuck out them niggas. You feel me? Dead niggas and all that, bro. So this shit ain't new. Get anywhere. It is going to send a strong message. The five suspects also face federal firearm violations. Together, all five face a minimum of life behind bars if convicted. U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Illinois, John Lausch, calls it significant. It's if this crazy, gives pause bro. to them, then we're doing something good. Chris Hush, NBC5 News. That's just crazy. I got to watch another video because I know there's more, man. I know there's more, man. I've seen another video, too, so hold on. Five alleged Chicago street gang members. And my fault, y'all. I keep watching these damn news clips and shit. I just really want to get all the information, you feel me, accurate information. You feel me? I don't want any names that aren't, you know what I mean? Because, like I said yesterday, I was informed that it was DQ, Boss Top, Muwap, C Thang, and Zell. You know what I mean? Long live Zell. You feel me? He passed away not too long ago. Seeing federal charges in connection with the shooting death of a local rapper downtown. The charges announced today by the U.S. attorney who says social media place on an August day in the Gulf Coast against a Chicago rapper. And then it was promoted and bragged about on social media. And the feds say it was because of that that helped them make this case. It was back in August of 2020 that Carlton Weekly, who went by the rapper name FBG Duck, was gunned down in the city's <laughs> Gold Coast while shopping. A joint task force of law enforcement working together on this one. And today, CPT Superintendent David Brown says this is part of a bigger strategy to thwart gang violence and maximize prison time for those who will be found guilty. We are going after gangs in this city. This includes gang investigations, narcotics investigations, and gun investigations. We are working together to hold gang members accountable. I don't believe dude, though. I don't believe him. You feel me? I don't believe him. Police really don't give a fuck. You feel me? Yeah, they want to throw motherfuckers in jail. I believe that. You know what I mean? Of course. But in terms of actually helping the community, trying to clean up the streets and shit, if you're trying to police and do shit the right way, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I'm just calling bullshit. You feel me? Yeah, you probably trying to lock up hella black folks. Yeah. Throw us in jail. Yeah. I'll lock up hella gang members and shit. Hell yeah. I believe that. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it's for the good of the community. I feel like it's for, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Violence. Today, five members of a <laughs> faction of the gangster disciples have been indicted for his murder. This was one of those cases we were able to bring federal resources to bear to work with the Chicago Police Department to ultimately help us make the case. In announcing the indictments, U.S. Attorney John Lausch says this is a federal case because it falls under federal racketeering organized crime statutes. Charge See, and that's what I was saying earlier. Organized crime, usually organized crime, there's a boss man. You feel me? Now look, bro. The boss man could have been Vaughn. You never, honestly, like, you never know. You feel me? Who called this? Who called that? You feel me? Who gave money to you? You feel me? I ain't trying to speculate nothing. You know what I mean? But you feel me? You never know, bro. You feel me? So shit, bro, because...
You know, move out, fuck with Vaughn Heavy. Let me shut up. Charles Liggins, 28-year-old no Kenneth Roberson, 22-year-old Christopher Thomas, 22-year-old T. Carlos Offord, and 22-year-old Marcus Smart. The indictment alleges the five used social media to brag about their crimes as a way to intimidate I rivals. Ain't never, like, I really don't know about the other folks, but I ain't never really seen Moo up saying nothing about Duck, though, like, ever. You feel me? And probably reason for that, but you know what I mean? their standing within the gang, which operates in the 63rd and King Drive area. But U.S. Attorney Laos says by using social media, in a way, they set their own trap. There are now five people in custody who weren't in custody before. Five people who were alleged to have committed a, mur a murder in broad daylight in the middle of the afternoon sure. in the city of Chicago, okay? And now it's known to them and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen oh, violence. niggas don't give a fuck about that shit. You think just because you locked up five folks for murder, it's going to stop the city? they like, damn, they ain't playing. They ain't, the feds ain't playing, y'all. We, we can't kill no more. We can't drill no more. Man, stop, bro. If you got to go take guns out of every crib, out of every nigga pocket, out of every, every nigga hand, you're going to have to, you feel me, lock up everybody, you feel me? Come on, bro. I mean, there's going to be a lot more to it than just that. But no, I want to go to Instagram real quick. I can go on Instagram on the computer, huh? Crazy as hell right now. Look at this nigga. Y'all see this nigga? What's wrong with this nigga smarter, bro? This nigga went to jail. It ain't been the same. Let me just say that. But no, academics is posted, so I got to Hold on. Um, what's happening on social media and what's happening in music videos that are on YouTube, particularly in the drill rap um, genre, um, it shows you what's happening in this city. Acts of violence. And it's happening. It's the same shit. But no, nah, it just goes to show. Because I've seen a little clip of them in old block. You feel me? A boss top and shit. You feel me? But it just goes to show. You know what I mean? That you really got to watch what you're saying. You know what Doc, I mean? Also like, known as Carlton Week and music videos to, to commit similar criminal custody before. That mm -hmm. murder and yeah. BG. So they made it's all clips basically just saying the same shit. You know what I mean? But like it's just crazy, bro. I don't know if them niggas thought they was invincible, bro. If him, but it comes to a point where you really gotta watch what you say, watch what you do, watch what you post. You feel me? Like I get you went to it with motherfuckers, you feel me, you in the streets, you know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? But like afterwards, bro, like the bragging and the you feel me, hooting and hollering, you feel me? Sometimes I make that shit a little too obvious. And I get some motherfuckers obviously don't give a fuck. Like, long live Ken Vaughn, so I'm going to use him as an example. Because he, you feel me, he ain't going to jail, nothing like that. You feel me? Rest in peace. You know what I mean? But, like, he obviously didn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? So sometimes I don't know if these people see a future for themselves. If they think they're going to get killed. If they think they're going to get locked up for life anyway. Or, like, what the case may be. But, like, these motherfuckers really be acting like they don't care. But what they say or what they do, you know what I mean? Smoking on this, smoking on that. You feel me? Someone get packed up, you feel me? And then they go tweet, long live. Like, just an example, like someone would get packed up, you feel me? One of their apps get packed up. And then somebody would go tweet, like Dirk would tweet, long live news or something like that. Like the same right after the news get out that somebody get packed up. Like, obviously that don't prove nothing. But it's just like, come on, bro. You feel me? Like just some shit just, you know what I mean? Like. Dirk said in the one song, got it back in blood. We just ain't know that's how it's supposed to be. Well, a lot of shit, the fans don't need to know. A lot of shit, I don't need to know. I don't want to know. I just want to know about the music shit. You know what I mean? But, like, a lot of the times, it just gets thrown in our face. You feel me? On social media. You know what I mean? Just like, and it's like like a lot of influence, you feel me? Between the Chicago culture and the world. You know what I mean? You got other kids, like, in Florida. You know what I mean? Talking about smoking on this, smoking on that in their songs. You feel me? You got people, just like random white kids, probably talking about smoking this, smoking that. If I got to my little cousin one time, cause he said smoke, he says what well, smoking some. He says something, and I got on him because I was like, bro, like what is you talking about, bro? You know what I mean? But I just like, I don't know, you just gotta be smarter, bro. I think just the moral of the story after all this shit, obviously, if you're in the streets, you can't beat them. If you're gonna lose in them, if you like I said earlier, man, jail or death, or like if you're really blessed, you're really blessed, and you get the opportunity to make it out. Get the fuck out and don't go back. You feel me? Just like Chief Keith did. And everybody give Chief Keith flat for doing what he did. But look at the nigga. You feel me? He don't got to deal with no bullshit. Like, yeah, he still lose folks here and there. You feel me? But that's just the streets and that's just life. You know what I mean? You can't save everybody. But like, man, just the moral of the story is, man, just be smart, be conscious, man. Just can't beat the streets, man. And just, I don't know, bro. Shit's crazy. Long live Duck, though. 
You feel me? And I know yesterday in my video, I said long lived up, and then I said free move up and free everybody else. If I said that shit, because if me long lived up, if my condolences go out to the fallen, you know what I mean? Of course. If me, but then I said free is killers, because come on, nigga. Duck would not want them niggas in jail, bro. Be real with yourself, my nigga. If me, I lost folks to gun violence, bro. Then I had their killers get locked up before. Like, to this day, they still in jail. If me, I don't know what they're doing in jail. They could be kicked up. Eating a cheat sheet, if you watching some TV, just chilling, smoking a little joint, chilling in jail. You know what I mean? Like, no, fuck that shit. If you feed them niggas out that cell, if you whatever happened, happened to the folks. You know what I mean? But that's just the streets and that's just life, like I said, man. But new to my channel, hit that sub button, please, and give me the 100k subs and smash that like button. But like I said, long live Duck and Freedom Boys. You know what I mean? New to my channel, hit that sub button. But without further ado, it's your boy Dynamite. Check out one love. Peace out. Yeah.